Okay, you're going to do a blind contour line drawing of your hand. I'm going to demonstrate here using the whiteboard. When you do it, you're going to set up your drawing paper on a flat surface in front of you, tape it down to the table or desk or wherever you're sitting. Make sure it's not going to harm the desk. Use a type of tape that's easily pulled off the table. You want to take down the paper because it's really annoying when you're drawing on a piece of paper and it's moving and you can't look at it. So tape it down in a position where you can work. Maybe set up a, a binder between you and the paper so when you're sitting down looking at your hand, you cannot see your hand drawing. Because if you, if you see your hand drawing, you're going to look over there. All right? You can't resist it. So position yourself so you can't cheat because you are not a cheater. Okay, I'll show you how it's done here. I'm going to draw my hand in a complex form like this, right here in this space. I'm going to try to fill the space. I'm not going to lean on the board when I draw, because if I lean on the board when I draw, my drawing is small. I'm going to keep my arm free so I can move about. I'm not going to look at the camera because I can see my picture, or I can see what I'm doing in the camera. So, yeah. It may look like I'm not looking at you, but that's on purpose. So I'll look at the paper from my starting point, which is right down here, and it's going to be just above my wristband for my watch. <coughs> All right, so here we go. We're starting the drawing now, and I'm not going to look back at the drawing until it's done. And one of the worst things that can happen for you right now is you have an itch on your face and you can't touch it because you're gonna, you can't move your hand but right now I'm drawing my thumb and I'm coming around to my thumbnail here all right I want to get back to the tip of my thumb so here is the tip of my thumb lots of wrinkles on that thumb right there because it's bent so I'm drawing these one wrinkle at a time. Now I'm coming around to all the other wrinkles in the palm of my hand. I gotta go around my thumb here to get to my finger, my index finger. Wow, there's a big wrinkle right there. Coming around to the top of my index finger as it comes forward. There's a fingernail right there. I'll, I better include that. All right, big wrinkle there. And now it's coming down. And here's my middle finger. Got to go around the other one. Up to the knuckle of my middle finger. I forgot my fingernail. I'll just go right back here and get it. Um, notice I'm not lifting up my marker when I want to move to a different area of my drawing. I just go there, okay? That's the ring on my ring finger. Coming up here to the knuckle. Knuckle's coming down. And all right, now I got my pinky right here. I'm drawing my pinky coming across. And right here is my pinky nail. All right, and that kind of got stuck to the inside. Well, there's a fingernail right here. I might as well put that on there. Stuck to the inside. Now I'm working my way back around down to my wrist. And bam, we'll stop right there. That's my uh, watch band right there. Okay, so pretty good size. It fills the paper pretty well. The negative space is minimal. That's actually very difficult to do is to draw large enough to fill your paper. Um, but if you don't rest your arm on the table, you can do that. All right. So we'd like to see drawings that are completed within about four or five minutes and that you didn't look at the paper. You used a continuous flowing line. You never lifted your pencil until you were done. And you included lots of details. Now, it will not look like a hand, okay? Notice this, it doesn't look like a hand. If it looks like a hand, you cheated, most likely, okay? So, good luck.